Welcome to the advanced search tutorial for Google. My name is Steve Bennett. We will start by opening Google up in Firefox. Once you know the basics of Google search, you might want to try advanced search, which offers numerous options for making your searches more precise and getting more useful results. You can reach the page, no surprise, by clicking the advanced search button on the Google home page. First of all we have a text entry box, find results with all the words. To the right we have the Google search button. This is followed by alternative options with the exact phrase, with at least one of the words, or without the words. The best way to show you how this all works together is to show you an example. We will enter into the first text box the search phrase New Zealand and then into the last text box the word holidays. Before we click on the Google search button, notice another feature offered from the advanced search page. You are able to select how many results you would like to appear on the first page. We will select 20. The results page will display the 20 most relevant results on New Zealand that exclude the word holidays. Moving back to the advanced search page, we'll look at further refining this search example. Notice that the language is by default any language. For this example, let's try French. Notice all the results will now only display pages in French. This is confirmed by a selected radio button on Search French Pages. To complete another search example, we will return to the advanced search page and clear the existing entries that we had. We will now try a search for an exact phrase, and in this example we will use the long and winding road. We will specify a file format to exclude, which is the don't, for Microsoft Word. Notice the other options available like Excel and Adobe. Next we will specify we only want web results for pages that have been updated in the last six months. Finally in this example we will select an option on usage rights. There are a number of options available. Just click on the More Info link for a full explanation. In this example, we will select the option Free to Use or Share, even commercially. Satisfied with our advanced search specifications, we click the Google Search button. We now start to get really interesting results pages. Notice the exact phrase with quotation marks, the minus sign for Word Docs only, the drop down box indicating that we only have results that have been updated in the last six months, and the radio button selected on the option search only pages that are free to use or share even commercially. Returning for another example, we'll firstly clear the last search specifications and this time complete a search for at least one of the words in this instance science admission. We will also use the domain option by specifying we only want the results returned from the URL www.stanford.edu Finally, we will specify that we would like safe search filtering. For more on safe search, follow the link safe search which provides more detailed information. All that is left in this example is to click the Google search button. The search firstly indicates that the results have been supplied for either science or admission, that these results are only from the 
cite stanford.edu and that the results have been filtered according to Google's Safe Search. With the final example, we will complete a search on the term DVD player. We will also use the numeric range option best described in the sentence return web pages containing numbers between $50 and $2000 normal users should find little use for the occurrences option for the sake of this tutorial we will select in the text of the page the results specify all in text colon DVD player $50 period period $2,000. This means that the results displayed include any numbers between $50 to $2,000 found only in the main text of the web pages. In our examples we have used all the currently available advanced search options. It's important to note that these options should be mixed and matched to suit your specific requirements. You will notice at the bottom of the page the heading Page Specific Search. While the average user will find little use for these tools, we will briefly show you some examples. In the first example, we will complete a search for similar pages to google.com. The search will show pages of similar structure rather than pages that are similar with the information. This tool is normally used by webmasters and designers. The second page specific search is named links. Find pages that link to the page and in this example we will use our site indigoguide.com. Once again this tool is used mainly by webmasters. If we return to Google's home page, select about Google help web search and advanced search this brings you to Google's help page on the advanced search features in the next tutorial we will take a look at Google's web search features, the results page and setting preferences.